to start this meeting. You just made it. <laughs> Can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a moment of silence, please. Welcome back, Corinne. Thank you. Roll call, please. Councilor Heisen? Here. Councilor Schneider? Here. Councilor Stigley? Yes. Council President Stewarts? Here. Councilor Tierina? Yes. We have five members present. We have a quorum. Thank you. Council has had time to go over the prior meeting's minutes. I can never say that correctly. For November 7th and Committee of the Whole for November 17th. We get a motion to move. I'd make a motion to approve the minutes, Mayor. I will second. Thank you. Motion to approve the prior meeting minutes moved by Councilor Stickley and seconded by Councilor Heising. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Okay, thank you. Next, we have a great uh, oath of office. And I would, I'm going to come around yep, and stand absolutely. right Just, behind yep. you. This is our very first official full oath of office, so I'm really excited for this. Historically, the fire service is rich in history and deep in traditions. In our country, we have well over 200 years of these traditions that have brought us to the present time. Having been established in 1862, the Wauseon Fire Department is no different. As with, as with tradition, our fire department still uses the sounding of the bell for our comrades that have passed, and we embrace the sounds of bagpipes as they sound at our gatherings. With that history in mind, I would like to continue our own tradition within the Wauseon Fire Department. As members of the department, we shall give each probationary firefighter an American flag. Every morning across the country, a firefighter raises the flag at their station and at the end of the day, takes it down. As a new full-time member of the Wauseon Fire Department, this flag is to be raised by you on your next shift. This flag shall then be kept for you over the span of your career here at the Wauseon Fire Department. On your last day, you will once again raise and lower that same flag. That flag will then be presented to you to signify the completion of your tour of duty within the Wauseon Fire Department in the city of Wauseon. If the unthinkable should happen, and our brother or sister falls in the line of duty, their family will know that this flag was last touched by their loved one, doing what they truly love, being a firefighter. Ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is new, so I apologize. Raise your right hand. Say aye and state your name. Aye, Chad Brown. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support that I will support the Constitution of the United States the Constitution of the United States the Constitution of the state of Ohio the Constitution of the state of Ohio and the Charter of the city of Wauseon and the Charter of the city of Wauseon and I will faithfully and I will faithfully discharge the duties of firefighter discharge the duties of firefighter for the city of Wauseon for the city of Wauseon state of Ohio state of Ohio to the best of my ability to the best of my ability Congratulations, Thanks, and welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Yes, I do. I'll try not to take this off. I appreciate it. This is Chad's father. Looks like he could carry me down the ladder. Mm -hmm.
Congratulations. Welcome. Congratulations. Good morning. Congratulations. 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 All right. I like it though. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys for attending. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Moving on. Um, we have no individuals wishing to address council at this time. Um, I don't have any department heads in here, but were you here for anything else besides the penny? I can. I mean, I'm here. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Uh, other than uh, uh, we've been working with uh, individuals that helped us out at Pettysville uh, last week, oh, yeah. setting up uh, follow-up uh, debriefings and uh, future training. Um, that came, having not had one of those incidents, that came together as we what we would have planned it to. It worked well. I can't say enough about uh, the departments that helped us in uh, Gerald Green. So uh, that's that's all I have. Any questions at all? Good job. With that. Thank you. Okay. Um, moving on to committee reports. We have a personnel committee meeting. Um, that's me tonight. Um, we met on November seventh. And to discuss the current vacation policy. Mm -hmm. So currently, um, the, the employees get one week at a year, two weeks at two years, three weeks at eight years, four weeks at 15 years, and five weeks at 25 years. Um, one of the main issues, well, there were two main issues that um, they were just asking to be changed, and that was the one year waiting until uh, just for just for employee retainment um, currently at being one week at a year posed problems for new employees especially so the recommendation was to move it to 90 days um, they'd get a week and then another issue was um, at retirement which would be 25 years would be when they would get the maximum amount allowed for vacation and so then they aren't able to enjoy that. So the recommendation was to move it to 15 years instead of 25 years to get the maximum, which is five weeks. Um, it was discussed if there were any, uh, you know, who was on board with that and who might not be on board with it. Um, the only issue that came up was that um, Chief Chittenden said that um, because of uh, of the way that some of his employees would be would have one kind of vacation policy and others would have another that that was a little bit of an issue um, other than that there weren't any negatives that came up it seemed like everyone was on board with the change mm -hmm. and this is our non-union employees correct I guess okay. I didn't I didn't specify I that. was looking to make sure that was so the, the police yes, it chief um, it was an issue with non-union versus union mm -hmm. employees in the same department Correct. Mm -hmm. However, it solves some problems within the fire department. Mm -hmm. Some big problems mm -hmm. as far as <coughs> keeping people. Yeah, retention yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 And the 25 years, I mean, what yeah. it was the retirement for? 25 years. So yeah. You so you the read the 25, you really never received <laughs> yeah. that. So it was, it definitely need to be. So the committee did recommend that we update the vacation policy to um, what was requested. So, I'm bringing that to all of you. Okay. So, we need a motion on this to um, accept the committee's recommendation <coughs> on the vacation. I'll make that motion. A second. Recommendation that the city of Wasan update their vacation policy in the handbook to the following. I got a discussion. So I was at committee at the whole, but I, I disagree with the weeks. We're really moving a lot of weeks ahead, uh, going from eight years to six years, mm -hmm. from 15 to 10, and from 25 straight to 15. There's not going to be any room to renegotiate in the future on that if you move it all that way now. 
Two, uh, I don't know what the police uh, union is going to be, nor the fire union is going to be. I don't know where we're at with that, because I never got an answer on that exactly, because I don't think they're that good. Are they? What do you mean that good? Do they get these 15 weeks and all that? Um, this, for this the fire Tom or, or the police <laughs> union? And when well, is the negotiation? We're, we're still discussing with the union we, uh, for the fire, and the police is in mid-contract, so they already have everything that they, right? You can go ahead. Yeah, it's not, the police contract is mid-term and the, the terms are different. Um, and I think the, the folks are engaged in discussions with the fire uh, Department of Union officials, and I think this is a topic that's of concern to them, and so I think the conversation sort of, as I understand it, generated from that conversation. So um, so the police police uh, union contract is not an issue right now, So, but it's not in there. It's, it, is, it is what it is. So the, I mean, discussion-wise, it may be a lot of hard feelings between the union employees and the non-union employees, if the non-union get this many weeks off, but yet the union employees don't. Well, it's something to discuss, considering the fact that it, it came from those who are uh, the, the fire, are the ones who actually spearheaded this with us, that Correct. were listening. So I don't think it's an issue with them. Being in mid-contract uh, and the fire and the police being separate, it's very difficult to try to <coughs> The only other thing I would wish to, uh, we do have part-time employees such as our clerk and others in finance that can work here 10 or 15 years and never even get a day off. Mm -hmm. So I think we as personnel committee should work on similar to what the county does after so many days and months you get so many days off. So I think we ought to work on that as well in the future. So the part-time employees that actually work every week, even though they're only working 25 hours per week, should get some type of uh, vacation time also. I think that's something that we'll need to go back to the... Uh, that would have been a great thing to bring up in the personnel committee meeting also. It yeah. would have been. Yeah. I didn't know we was going to vote on it. <coughs> no, I know the county, they don't get vacation, but they do get sick leave part-time. For so many hours, like yeah, 30 get, hours above. Yeah, they get, yeah. Yeah, the county gets so many <clears throat> hours for so many hours of service. Right. It, 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 but for sick leave or like insurance, it's like 30 Personal hours and things, and things like, like that. that. Yeah. With pay. Mm -hmm. So. And I know Chief Chittenden said that he was discussing with you mm -hmm. how to address the union contract and making it more fair based right. upon these new right. things. And so you guys are trying to be innovative and creative. Right. and figuring out how you can do that right. because and, and, and uh, yes we have been and that was that was a concern and but uh, unfortunately when it comes to negotiating you need to make sure that we are negotiating that and go back in and discuss it with them and um, let them bring it when their, when their contract comes up right pretty much pretty yeah. much because mm -hmm. because but again I mean I'm not saying that that is a uh, um, where they're going to go. I mean, negotiation is just that. Because the firemen came to us at, at the beginning when they wanted to go to the union, mm -hmm. and we stated that at that time that council could not help them mm -hmm. after you go to the union because the only ones that are on the union is going to be their uh, union steward, two attorneys, their attorney and our attorney, and you, Mayor. Right. And that's the only people that can negotiate, right. as well as with the chief, right. a contract. Mm -hmm. And personnel, or uh, we, council, cannot do nothing about it. Well, council has to approve the CBA. At the end, yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yep. But, I mean, in the negotiations, right. council has no dealings with it on either the fire or the police. So, anyhow, that's what I mean. Does, does, the, does the firemen, have, do they have to join the union? So they don't well, have to, or No, they, it's a matter of paying dues or not paying dues. There are several members that do not pay dues to the bargaining unit, but are covered by the contract based on their job description. Oh. And there's another set of employees on the fire department that don't meet that for the bargaining unit. So therefore they're not under contract. Yeah. And it's, and it's, 
just short of 50-50. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want to discuss the part-time issue, can he put it on the personnel committee meeting, the next meeting that we have as if, a, yes, as a topic? Yes, it should, yeah, it should yeah. be on the agenda. And, and honestly, that way the appropriate people like Jamie or, and, and stuff, maybe Sarah can come in and give their input on personnel and, and some of the things that we're already doing for part-time. Mm -hmm. You know, just an update so that you guys can go from there. Any other questions? I don't have any more. Okay. <clears throat> Recommendation that the City of Wauseon update their vacation policy in the handbook to the following. Moved by Council President Steritz and seconded by Councilor Schneider. No more discussion? Um, I do. I want one, one other thing with Council when you have non-union and union. Um, sometimes that you know the non-union um, doing something like this you know for their benefit is is a good thing as well because they're voiced and you know they're, they're heard because they aren't being negotiated they, they don't have that option so it is a good thing um, both ways and fairness is truly something that the city um, pays close attention to when it comes to that. I will say one more thing there. The county and other municipalities are going to look at this because they are looking now to implement it into them, their system. What we're doing? Yeah, because they're saying huh. people well, will leave the, them to come to us. Well, that's um, another that's reason why we're reason. doing this. Yeah. 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 Because everybody else yeah. has this. And, yeah. they, and employees of the, they're saying it's a good thing. Yeah. That was. Good. So. Good to hear. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's good discussion. Sarah. Thank you. Okay. Council President Steard. Yes. Councilor Schneider. Yes. Councilor Tirina. Yes. Councilor Stickley. Yes. Councilor Heising. Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Tree Commission. Uh, that's me. I thought we met on October 11th, but this is November 14th. Well, I can't remember. I'm sure. <laughs> um, they finally decided that the tree USA is May 10th in 2023. They decided on a, a, a venue to be Crossroads and they decided on a catering, which would be D&J catering. And they also decided on uh, centerpieces, flower pots for the tables. Uh, that's about all they discussed. The next meeting would be December 13th and would be a joint meeting with the park board and the tree commission. And they want to discuss the, the trees that are getting older at Rear Park and what they can do with them. And I believe that's all it was discussed. <coughs> there was no, really no action. action. No action. Just working on that. Yeah. Um, I think the best thing is maybe get some quotes so that we can get them for the budget for next year. An idea. Well, yeah, did we? I thought we discussed that uh, what they wanted money wise. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. yeah, that's that's absolutely fine. That's just with you and Jamie, maybe. That's, okay, and we can talk about it at the budget meeting or something. But they, they ask for money up front, but they usually recoup everything exactly. From the I, fees I remember stuff. you saying that, yeah, but they need money up front. To that way it's in I'll, the budget. I'll, I'll find, find out for sure how much I need. Pay the tree people, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you want to make sure they get paid. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All righty. Let's talk about that. Ah, let's move on to legislation. Sure. You got something? Yeah. No. Just... Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, first reading of legislation will be... Res uh, resolution 2022-30 <coughs> here, but in here, uh, resolution adjusting the compensation plans wage scale based on the consumer price index and declaring this an emergency. Um, if you notice in the resolution, it says uh, motion to place resolution on a 2022-29. That should be 30. Tom caught that. It's also there should be an emergency reading that. That should be an emergency. Oh yeah, and declare an emergency. Okay. So, 
We need this passed mm -hmm. on emergency. It's just. So I'll make the motion. I'll second that. Motion to place resolution 2022-30 on emergency rating moved by Councillor Stickley and seconded by Councillor Perrion. Any discussion? Uh, this is the two and a half percent for coming up for next year. Is that correct? This is a CPI. Yeah, this is not the wage increase per, uh, legislation. It's the uh, so the compensation plan requires each year the council decide one way or the other whether to increase the wage scale, which is just the scale, you know, minimum, median, and maximum for each pay grade, if it should be increased based on the consumer price index. So is this Clemens and Nelson? Jamie just told us. You know, this is that one that we wanted Jamie every year to keep check with to make sure that we were in line with the um, consumer price index. So yeah, so the scale gets it's not any uh, it's not an increase in wages. It's increase. It's adjusting the scale to uh, reflect the CPI. So, so say a minimum wage is twenty three dollars based on CPI from last year. If it's eight percent, that would be increased eight percent. That's just the wage. Eight percent. Well, I'm just no, that's not she, that's she not said the on Thursday that it's two and a half percent. Jamie's yeah. two and a half percent. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. Okay, yeah, it's not an, it's not the increase in wages across the board kind of thing it's that you guys. Scale. It's the scale. It's the scale. It's the scale. Right. The scale. Wage scale. scale. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sure where we was at with it that because mm -hmm. Jamie did say two and a half percent. Okay, I'm sorry. I misunderstood your question. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were talking about. Sorry, all that for nothing. Erase that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a confirmation that that's what we're talking about. The wage scale. The wage yes. scale at two and a half percent to try to keep up to the. But that's not going to keep up to it because inflation is more than that. Right. That's where we were at, at the, um, when she checked it. That's why she gave us that. That's number. what she said? Okay. Mm -hmm. Councillor Stickley? Yes. Councillor Tiarino? Yes. Councillor Heising? Yes. Councillor Schneider? Yes. Council President Steers? Yes. 5 a 0 days motion carries. I'll need a final on this. Final. final. Oh, go ahead. I'll go ahead, Scott. Final. Second. Motion to place resolution 2022-30 on final reading and the final reading be passed moved by Council President Steers and seconded by Councillor Schneider. Any discussion? Council President Steerts? Yes. Councilor Schneider? Yes. Councilor Tiarina? Yes. Councilor Stigley? Yes. Councilor Heisen? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Perfect. Okay. Moving on to second reading, we have resolution 2022 28. It's a resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement for indigent defense services in county court with the Fulton County Commissioners. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion to place resolution 2022-28 on second reading. Moved by Councillor Tiarina and seconded by Councillor Stickley. Any discussion? Councillor Tiarina? Yes. Councillor Stickley? Yes. Councillor Heising? Yes. Councillor Schneider? Yes. Council President Steers? Yes. Five A's, zero nays, motion carried. Thank you. Third reading. Resolution 2022-26 is a resolution authorizing the mayor and her designee to accept the lowest and best bid and to enter into a contract with the lowest and best bidder for the refuge franchise. I will move. I'll, I'll second move. that. <laughs> so <laughs> done with the trash. <laughs> Thanks, Scott, for Talk, putting on that tired of talking trash. <laughs> the trash queen at this point. <laughs> Um, and this is on emergency? Right. Okay, I just wanted to say that because it wasn't in the legislation. Yes, it's not. It will be moved under an emergency after the third reading. Motion to place resolution 2022-26 on emergency reading moved by Councillor Heising and seconded by Councillor Tiarina. Any discussion? Councillor Heising? Yes. Councilor Tiarina? Yes. Councilor Stickley? Yes. Councilor Schneider? Yes. Council President Stickley? Yes. Five days, zero days, motion carries. 
Okay, so we don't need the final reading then on this. Yeah. Do we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, all right, that yeah. was the first read. Right Sorry, I'm following the read. Motion to, mm -hmm. yes, place resolution 2022-26 on final reading and the final reading be uh, passed. I'll make that motion. Yeah, it's back. Second. Motion to place resolution 2022-26 on final reading and the final reading be passed moved by Councillor Schneider and seconded by Councillor Stickley. Any discussion? Councillor Schneider? Yes. Councillor Stickley? Yes. Councillor Tiarina? Yes. Councillor Heising? Yes. Council President Steers? Yes. Five years, zero days, motion carries. So we move, we pass, we emergency, we passed. Nice. <laughs> Good to go. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. Um, under new business, I just have a few things. Um, we've got a busy week coming up uh, with uh, Thanksgiving. I want to wish you all happy Thanksgiving. Uh, and Saturday, bring your families down for the parade um, and uh, enjoy that. It looks like good weather, so that's a blessing. And um, I think the only other thing is the, on the events is on the 5th, we have the Bethlehem happening and gearing up um, and uh, singing with the mayor I think is on the fourth. So if you have any littles that like to sing, bring them on over to the outreach. And uh, where is that at? On the fourth? Uh, on Enterprise, the West Sand Outreach. Oh, oh right out there the same spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, same spot. Mm -hmm. You get a sneak peek of the Christmas and it's it's great. Nice. So there's a lot of things coming up, but those are just a few before our next meeting, and then there's many more. Um, Christmas at the cabin, um, Santa's going to be at the depot, um, hot nice. chocolate and cookies for the kids um, after the parade, and our own um, Wasan Rodu will be helping with, you know, who at the depot. Don't want to say it on TV. It was a nice <laughs> listing on the city webpage. It is. So and honestly, oh, nice. Brooke and Corinne nice. have been working very yeah. diligently, really diligently nice. on that and keeping people updated. So you know, good. So in one place, I like <laughs> more Brooke than me. <laughs> <laughs> but well, still, great job. <laughs> a lot to go on. And hopefully IMTV will be at the parade. All right. That's what I like to hear. Anything else under new business at all? Oh. I, just, oh. I just think city workers have been doing a good job with Lee's pickup under some pretty rotten conditions. Oh, the, the conditions have been terrible. Snow, mm -hmm. they, they're out there. Yeah, they even started a week early, yeah. and then it snowed. Yeah. So, yeah, and that heavy, heavy wind. Yeah. So you might have cleaned yours, but your neighbors didn't. Well, guess what? Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it again. <laughs> so, uh, anything else under old business? Can we have a motion to approve the bills? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion to approve and pay the bills as presented. Moved by Councillor Schneider and seconded by Councillor Heising. Any discussion? Councillor Schneider? Yes. Councillor Heising? Yes. Councillor Stickley? Yes. Councillor Tiarina? Yes. Council President Steers? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Can we have a motion for adjournment, please? I'll make that motion. Second. Motion to adjourn moved by Councillor Tirina and seconded by Councillor Stigley. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries.